Well, Forrest, now that I've figured out the ECU I need, all the sensors I need, how do I get this thing hooked up to my engine and start running it? Well, today we're gonna go over all of the cables that you might need to get your ECU connected. Download the top. Well, Forrest, we got a lot of stuff in front of us here, and I'm kind of confused on what I need. Can you maybe help me go through and figure out? Yeah. Give me what you got in your hand there. Right? This one? Yeah. So, for starters, if you're trying to wire up the ECU, you've got a few different options for that. You could just buy our A and B loom uh, connectors. So, it's just going to be a, a plug and pin kit. So, it'll come with your A connector or B connector and the pins to wire it up yourself. Okay, it just plugs right in here. It plugs right in. Easy. What's this one? Well, if you don't want to go through the trouble of crimping each one on yourself and you want to build a full loom, you can buy one of our flying lead harnesses. We have these looms for A and B connector available in different lengths. Uh, this one in the back here is two and a half meters long. So you're saying this is the same thing as that. It just already has wires on you pre-labeled. Yep, and it also has some shielded wire in there for your triggers and things like that as well. Interesting. I think this is probably gonna be the better option for me. It'd be a good starter point. Okay. Well, now that I've figured out how to hook this up to my engine, I'm thinking about getting one of your guys' dashes. How do I hook a dash up to the CCU? Okay, well, you've got a few different options for that, okay? For starters, we can go with the six pin cable that's gonna convert it over to a DTM4 connection. So okay. that'll make it really easy for you. So that just plugs in here? Yep, just plugs right into there, like so. Oh, wow, very easy. And you just wire up your power and ground. Cool. And your can wires as well. How neat is that? All right. So that would take care of one of your can connections on that ECU, but you also have a second can connection on the B connector on that ECU. So in the plug right here? Yes. Okay. Right. So for that one, we could use this one that already has the terminals crimped on to go into that super seal connector. And then it has the flying leads for the power and ground and converts over to a DTM4 as well. So those pins go just straight into this connector here. Yeah. Slide right into it. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, what if I want to hook up more than two can items? Say I have a dash and something else and another item that I want to hook up. Maybe a keypad or another gauge. And modern problems require modern solutions. Okay, well, we got you covered there too. So we do have these can splitter cables available. So you could really plug up multiples of these if you wanted to put different things on the CAN network. And also, if those modules are you know, further apart from each other, we have these CAN extension cables available in different lengths as well. Okay, so you're saying I can just plug one of these cables into that splitter cable, it's split off to two other ones, and then you can plug two things in? Just yeah. Bring it right in? Yeah, absolutely good. So it's all plug and play, pretty much. That was easy. So what if I didn't buy this ECU and I got a plug-in ECU? Is it still just as easy to plug something in to hook up a can? Yeah, it actually is. So for those, you're gonna have two different styles of connectors because we have one style for our older applications and some of our newer applications have a different style. So the first style is gonna be our JST5 connection and, and it'll convert over to the DTM4. And then the second style would be the JST4 connection and converts over to a DTM. The big difference with this one is that it does have a power and ground supply. So you could, for example, power a dash with this. So how to connect things to a plug-in ECU. For that, we have the XS loom. So this would allow you to access the extended IO available uh, on the different plug-in boards. Now that I got the ECU picked out, all the sensors and all the cables that I need, can we get to making some pops and bangs and putting this thing in the car? It sounds like you're ready to go. But if you're not feeling as confident as Justin, you can always refer to our website and look at the dealer list to find a professional in your area. I'm not that confident. I think I need your help. Well, we'll find you some help. If you need more information, you can always check our website, linkecu.com, and also the help file and PC link. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified for when we release the next video. 
Thanks for watching.